Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our power enrich feature and our mass airflow calibration process. So the power enrich is going to be the target air fuel we command when we're under high throttle conditions or high load conditions, such as wide open throttle. So we're not going to want to target 14.7 to 1 air fuel as we find at idle and part throttle. We want to go and target something richer, something like 12.5, 13.0 air fuel. If we're force induction, it might be something like 10.8 or 11.2 air fuel. So we're going to be able to specify that. I'm going to be walking you through the programming of the power enrich and then we're going to be taking a look at our VCM scanner side of things, setting up a custom histogram that's going to be taking a look at our target air fuel versus our actual air fuel. We're going to be able to see the difference, move back into our MAC calibration curve, and be able to update it so that we're hitting the actual air fuel that we're commanding. It's a pretty simple process. Again, we're going to be going through a couple of revisions in our VCM scanner to our VCM editor so you can see how you're supposed to tune your mass airflow calibration curve in our PE mode. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our power and rich feature for our GM Gen 4 application. So whether we're going to be on an E40 PCM, an E38, or an E67, we'll find that the power enrichment is going to be used when we get into higher throttle angles or wide open throttle conditions. It's going to be redefining a richer air fuel to target when we're going into those conditions. So let's take a look at our calibration here. I have our Yukon calibration. This is going to be the MAF calibration. We're going to take a look at this first and go into our scanner and go through that process of doing our MAF wide open throttle fuel tuning so we can see how that's going to go. So jumping into this MAF calibration, jumping into engine, we're going to go in here to from general to idle to airflow to fuel. Then we can see here we have our Stoich air fuel. Now this table here is going to be defining the Stoich air fuel that we're trying to run at or a target air fuel we're trying to run at. Now if we jump into our scanner here, I have a log that was previously from when the engine was running. We can find here we have our air fuel commanded, so we've added that into our scanner channels list here. This value we find right here is gonna be coming from this table right here. So under idle and part throttle, as we're driving around, this is gonna be what we have for our target air fuel. But when we get into the higher load, throttle angle, and wide open throttle conditions, we need to have a richer air fuel. This is no longer going to be relevant and we need to richen up the mixture so we have power available when we give it throttle. So that's going to be the purpose of the power enrich. Let's go ahead and close this. So if we move across our tabs here, we can move right in here to the power enrich tab. In this tab, this is going to be where we do our programming for this power enrich feature. So we're going to have a couple different thresholds that we have to meet in order to kick it into power enrichment. So if we look here, we can see our enable. We're going to find we have map pressure. We have an enable RPM. 